Okay, here we are in Haddam, Connecticut at the birthplace of David Brainerd. Opposite this spot was born April 20th, 1718, David Brainerd, a servant of God. Wise in his knowledge of men, self-forgetful in his devotion, of single-hearted humility, careless of the dangers of the frontier, undismayed before failing health, he gave his brief manhood to the material and spiritual upbuilding of the Indians. He died at Northampton, Massachusetts, October 9th, 17. 47. So somewhere, somewhere in this area is where David Brainerd would have been born. Uh, we can imagine him playing down there uh, by the river. Love for nature just like Jonathan had. And here, here's where he was born. Just a few short years later in Northampton. I've already made the video for that. Yeah, you'll probably see that next. But just a few short years his life was. Uh, but yet during those few short years, 29 to be exact, and spiritual years. He was converted when he was 21 and died when he was 29. So a Christian uh, life of only eight years. Many of us would say you can't accomplish much for Christ in eight years. And humanly speaking, there would be people who if they only saw what Brainerd did outwardly, may would say that he did not accomplish much. But he had a diary that he recorded, and in that diary, he poured his heart out to God, and he uh, searched his own heart, and missionaries have been helped uh, for hundreds of years now through what Brainerd uh, wrote in that private diary. Uh, in God's providence, Brainerd would spend the last couple months of his life in the house of Jonathan Edwards, and Edwards wanted to publish Brainerd's diary. So he set aside uh, an important work that he was working on that he would later get back to, and he hit pause so that he could work on getting uh, Brainerd's diary 